Alright, I'm going to be demonstrating how I uh, wick and light a Dia candle. Right here I have this right here, it's the holder. And then I have the wicks for the Dia. Alright, so these are Dia wicks. And they come in a great pack. With many of them in there. It's all cotton. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gently pull out one of these Dia wicks because they are cotton and they're very fragile. Alright, so once I pull one of these out, I'm just going to set the rest of them to the side. And then I have to insert it inside of this hole right here. And I'm getting a little bit closer so you can see all this. Alright, so this is... Zoom in a little bit so you can see this. I want to get in close so you can see it. And so I have to insert it inside of this hole. Now I do that by... I can't just take the wick and put it in because it's too big for it. So what I do is I simply just take one end of the Dia wick and just simply twist it like that. All right, twist it towards the end because that's the most important part to get the end part in. All right, so just do that. All right, so once you've got the end small enough, you can also do the top, but don't do the top too much because you want that not to be as tight. So, uh, so I've done that, and then, all right, so it's small enough to put in through the hole. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently come through here, come to here, and put it in the hole. Now, if it's still too big, you're going to have to take the tip and make it smaller so it fits inside. All right, so I have it like this. And I'm just going to keep on working it so. And then once it's small enough, I'm going to slide it in. It's almost like putting a needle through, thread through a needle. And if you need some assistance getting the tip out, I used a knife right there. And then I'm just going to simply pull it down. Pull it down far enough. And then I like to take the top of it and twist it just a little bit like that. Maybe pull it out a little bit. Now the goal of it is to get enough in here so that the oil that's in here can be absorbed by the Dia wick and draw the oil up to the top. So once you have it all the way in there, you're going to go ahead and you're going to take some oil of your choice. I choose to use um, pure sesame oil, but you can use the oil uh, that is recommended to you. And I'm just going to place some in here. I don't like to add a lot because I typically don't have these running for a long time, so I won't need a lot of it in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour a little bit of the oil inside right here going to pour a little bit in there like that and it's going to take time to absorb so if you have time sit around and wait for it to absorb if not what I like to do is I like to actually pour a little bit on top so I'm going to take some and pour it on top just a little bit all right and if you sit there and wait a few minutes you'll see the oil uh, penetrating um, the wick on both ends. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this and just assist it a little bit. And you want the oil to actually be absorbed by all of the wick because if you have a dry part of the wick, when it burns, it'll burn it fast and it will be a waste of wick. So be patient and wait for the wick to be absorbed so all of it's wet with the oil and if you need to assist like I'm don't have the patience I'm just going to assist with the oil by putting some on the wick on both sides like that all right so once I have enough on both sides 
It looks like it's absorbed. If it's not, go ahead and dunk it in. Make sure you get plenty of the wick absorbed with the oil. All right, so I have plenty of it. It's all moist, so I can go ahead and light this. All right, so make sure the wick is up because you don't want the bottom somehow to get start to burn. So I'm gonna go ahead and play with it a little bit right there. Pull it up. All right, and you'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and light this. All right, so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lighter, and it smells fragrance, sweetness of sesame oil. It's uh, very pleasant, and that's why I typically choose uh, sesame oil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my lighter, and I'm going to light the tip of the wick. Right there. And it's going to burn. Now, it will burn fast at the beginning because there is a lot of wick exposed. But it will go down. Let me move this camera a little bit. It will go down as the wick starts to burn some and then the flame will get smaller almost to a crawl. So it's a lot right now because there's a lot of wick exposed. But shortly that wick will, let's see it's already starting to die down a little bit right here. And as it gets closer to the bottom of it right there, you'll see, look, it's going down. Now, if you don't want the flame too high or too bold like it is right now, just uh, have a smaller uh, portion of it on this side of the wick. And that's how I do it. Now, you know, this is just my own experience. You take it for a grain of salt. This is how I do it. I'm not suggesting that you do it this way. I should probably do it how the manufacturer manufacturer tells you how to do it so I'm lighting the wick and you see how big it is right now and I'm just gonna wait for a little bit and just look how nice it looks and it's starting to die down and when it dies down a little bit it will continue to flame for quite a long time with just this amount of oil in there because it will keep on absorbing and keeping the flame going all right, so I hope this was helpful. Uh, this D is pretty nice because I can pick it up right here and carry it around to see my way around during the night time. But that's the D, and hopefully this was helpful for you. Thanks a lot for watching. Good night.